And I don't see that these are forgeries in any way. And they all sort of turn to Zidane, who at this moment sort of turns and at the angle that you were at, you couldn't see. But as soon as he sort of turns a little bit, takes a step back, you see his eyes swollen shut. And the, the side of his face is all bruised and his lip is swollen. And his clothes have streaks of blood stains from what appear to be holes made around his collarbone area. Really not going to look good. Not that I care much about Zidane, but... This is really not going good for us. You can assure me that you can make sure that this Snoke figure will know nothing of us? I can. Especially if you are willing to keep up your end of the bargain and provide us with the material we need. I think I can do that. Admiral growls. I would kill this Snoke if he came, or any of his minions. Stop that! This guy's like an apprentice. He would die even to Kylo freaking Ren. She's like, I wouldn't necessarily, I wouldn't want to put that to the test. The Knights of Ren are not to be trifled with. And they are absolute when they decide to wipe out a town. And they are very efficient. This one promises that Snoke will train me. She, the woman is visibly shocked by that. I assure you he will not. The First Order, like the Empire before them, view less other species other than humans to be slave chattel at best. You would not be trained. If anything, you would simply be a toy for his favorite apprentice, Kylo Ren, to practice with. I could beat anyone. <laughs> arrogance. Such arrogance. Oh, you just die. Uh... As our prey hides from us, so too must we hide from the sky. It is our best hope until we ourselves capture the power of them, truly capture the power of them. And we, and the resistance is definitely willing to help you with that, my lady. Very well, I think we can make this agreement. Oh, he wasn't talking. No, he's, he's hoping not to be noticed too much. Well, like, Admiral is like, looking to like, tear him apart. <laughs> yeah. He's a Falleen. Hmm? He's a Falleen. Yeah. He talks, they listen, he gets them, it's over with. Except two of them are force users. Oh, true. <laughs> Doesn't guarantee that they're... But anyway. At this point, I'm going to come, I'm going to just make my presence on the be like, Thaloon, where is the remains of Thaloon? I am his descendant. <laughs> 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 oh, this is going to end up so well. <laughs> you were going to prepare a speech, if memory serves. Weren't you? I... Go. Go now. Stormtrooper, Twi'lek, get going. Just go. <laughs> Do the job. It has not cut to our scene yet, sir. <laughs> Yeah, um, it's cut I'm assuming they're they, they're making their way in. I will go mm -hmm. into one if I am required to. If they if they start questioning, I will go into one. I have something prepared, but uh, then go right now I'm and... trying to pause them. Uh, <coughs> make me a manipulation subterfuge. Uh, I'm going to give you a plus one because you are Zabra, <laughs> and they don't know any difference. <laughs> Yeah, they all look the same. Yep. I mean, you can't tell because their their fur isn't any different. Three successes. Not bad. All right. Like a couple people, like straight up, bow down to you. Like they're down on their knees and like. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> well, going good so and far. And one Hopefully one little kid is like. Knows. Really? <laughs> is he near me? 
Okay. I just gently on his head. Yes, my child. <laughs> <sighs> like he starts shaking. <laughs> they the the four of them turn and uh Zidane's probably thankful for his swollen face that he can't express shock <laughs> at the moment. <laughs> but he takes another staggering step back and away from them. And it's at this point you notice he is bound. bound. And the old woman is holding the lead. And they sort of turn to you. And how did you come here? And before you can answer, Samantha does. He came on that one's ship. He was at the conference that informed us of the distress signal that I told you about. And I will immediately go in. You are correct, Samantha. How else would I have found this place? After years of searching for my grandfather, where my grandfather crashed, I, I heard of this conference. I came to see, I thought it was worth investigating. The crew that I hired brought me here, the falling one of them. I'm looking for my grandfather's artifacts so that I may learn his ways. We're going to have to make some rolls here. <laughs> yeah, um, no. This is not all, if you guys well. work for the Resistance, you'd be happy to see another Jedi being trained into the galaxy. <laughs> However, you are going to be getting help. From Pauline, who's I, useful? Thank Yay. God. <laughs> That's all I have to say. Yeah, I'm just sitting here. Praise my, Cthulhu. My immediate thought as soon as you said, where, I'm just sitting here like, I imagined the sound of screeching brakes on a car <laughs> and shattering glass. Like, good. <laughs> that is what I was going for. That's what you got out of me and I wasn't even there. <laughs> If the comm link was open right now, I would be screaming. <coughs> I already wanted to get on it and scream, Get the hologram! That's your job. That's your job. We're in the power plant. Oh, well, what a... Oh, That's right, Zidane says. You will get plus two on the subterfuge roll. Uh, and then you'll have to make a persuasion test. You'll also get a plus two from him. So another subterfuge roll and then a persuasion. Yep. All right. Can I get plus two? Yep. Good luck. <laughs> How much willpower do you have left? Yes, I done probably out of it at this point. You can't say. That's a good sound. The roll and then re-roll yeah. and then re-roll. Yep. Uh -huh. I have four successes. <laughs> Son of a crap. Mm. All All right. For the subterfuge. Now persuasion. Uh, persuasion what? Uh, manipulation. Okay. And I get a plus two on that as well? Yes. Actually, hmm. no, make this a present persuasion. Even better. <laughs> Gives me an extra dot. <laughs> okay. You certainly don't look it. Well, I am. <laughs> Four again. <laughs> <laughs> this is going so well for us. Wait, this is the guy who was sitting there just like five minutes ago going, this is bad, this is bad, this is bad. <laughs> yes, it is very bad. But, but he now has, it's turning <laughs> around. He is pulling victory. Like we said at the city. end of last episode, we will either succeed magnificently or fail magnificently. <laughs> I am being magnificent, folks. <laughs> <laughs> the greater the risk, the greater the reward. Will of acquisition. Yeah, the whole crowd uh, it seems to be buying it. Not only that, but the old lady seems to be believing you too. <laughs> uh, that was a fuck and, yeah for you folks at home. And the weak way also are like, oh, what do you know? <laughs> what luck? That's a hell of a thing. <laughs> <laughs> wow, yeah, that's incredible. Um, I mean, seriously, if they question me, I'm going to need to say, why else was I, did I stay for the whole freaking seminar to learn as much about it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, but Admiral, 
his hand goes immediately to his lightsaber. Aiming the sniper rifle. I'll hold my hand up. Are you offering my grandfather's <laughs> lightsaber? <laughs> With my other hand on my chain. <laughs> <laughs> uh that's oh man. Uh let's see. I think <laughs> No, um No, I think this is gonna be manipulation politics. Oh brutal. <laughs> I am going to give you a plus three equipment bonus though. I am going to spend a willpower. There's what the willpower's for. <laughs> Oh, what was my bonus? Three. 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 So it cancels out the penalty for not having the uh, politics. Yep. Well, this is not going to go well. If he fails, then I'm just going to be like, distraction, boom. <laughs> <laughs> I have three successes. Ooh. It's good. Sounds it's like good. that's gonna be no explosions. Uh, Might drive us some more time. Shit, I can't <coughs> find his camp sheet. There he is. Population politics. I heard him say politics and then specialty. He did not avoid it. Oh no. How many did you get? Three. That is more than him. <laughs> yes! <laughs> no. I am not going to give you my holy relic. But you may fight me in honorable combat for it. <laughs> this just turned really bad. <laughs> well, we can't say that it turned really bad. Yet. Uh, you guys, like, by the power plant, as you guys are making your way in, because, like, there were a few people that were nearby that had just come to sort of, oh, there's a ship landing? They basically all moved off when he is like, I am the descendant. And, like, so now, like, they're all there, and you guys are like... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we just chill it now. I kind of <laughs> and you guys find a side door. Relatively easily because Gale is sort of follow you know follow me right there's the door and she continues on past the power plant shuffling her way the door is locked oh Beaver <laughs> Beaver Las Vegas doesn't matter what. I am sad and horrified to admit that I had the same thing in my head. <laughs> <laughs> All right. The generation gap just shrunk. Dexterity. Oh, that's the wrong kind of sheet. That's dexterity, larceny. a few seconds, about half a minute, to get the lock undone. And you guys make your way in. And you hear people shoveling coal. And the spinning of the, of the turbine. Kind of loud. You didn't realize how loud it would be. What do you got? Because uh, I almost want to yell. Are they all natives who are in here? Yes. Dang it. How many are in there? I was hoping it was more of a slave force and then we could liberate them and be like, freedom! <laughs> Calm down, <laughs> Brightheart. <laughs> Do you remember the last situation where you guys tried to free a bunch of slaves in a Star Wars game? <laughs> How that ended? Uh, it ended yeah. up with me killing a lot of them. <laughs> yeah. well, 
like a couple, was it at least a hundred or a couple hundred? It was over a hundred, yes. I did some damage. And I'm trying not to do damage this time. But I don't want to go run in there screaming, The Descendant of Thalen has come! Because they're all going to look at me like, Who the uh, F are you? Exactly. You do have a blaster. It does have a stun setting. There are about 12 of them in here. That's quite a few to hit, though. Well, the I other... remember my conversation about 20 house cats can take down any almost any PC. Well, I also sit here and I think to myself that I'm a grenadier. I have stun and smoke grenades. <laughs> Do I have stun? <laughs> and I happen to yeah. have quite a few of each one of those. So use them. You're Gary Busey with grenades. Do it. I think I'm, I'm <coughs> thinking I'm going to look at her and hand her two, and I'm going to take two and pull and throw, pull and throw. <laughs> okay. <laughs> And yeah, we're just going to chuck them. Okay. I think at this point we're going to roll initiative. On uh, mine and hers or his? Oh, everybody. <laughs> everybody. Because <laughs> you guys breaking in is basically happening at the same time as this. So, yeah. Nice. We're going to see if some buttons nice. are hitting the floor. What, you rolled two tens? Three. And where are my pins gone? My markers. Six. Um, they were on the couch. Plus eight. One. All right. What's your initiatives? Uh, I got a twelve. I got a twenty-six. Wow. Do you roll a ten? I rolled a ten. I got a forty-four. What? And I got a thirty-two. Jeez. All right. Again with these massive initiatives. How's the twelve over there? <laughs> Well, you know, when the hammer needs to drop, <coughs> I'll be there eventually. <laughs> All right. Oh, wow. Look at the this has been a long episode, guys. Uh, join us next week when we find out if our crew can survive or not. <laughs> Yay. <laughs>